up here, here you can see the packaging. It's got a nice kind of print throughout it, which you can kind of see when the light hits it there. Looks pretty cool. I like it. It gets a thumbs up. And then when we move to the side of the box, oh, there you can see it nice now. How cool does that look? Very cool. And it's kind of on the side of the box as well. See there, Windows 10 compatible. Thank goodness for that. Otherwise, it probably would work with 100% of gaming machines. So on the side here, you can see there's some stats: 16.8 million RGB colors because you can change the colors on the mouse. 5,000 DPI. You can go from 200 to 5,000 DPI. 100 IPS. Weighs 20. Well, 20 grams of acceleration and 1,000 hertz, which is a one millisecond polling rate. Also, just so you guys know, it's Omron 10 million click switches that are on it, so it should last you a decent amount of time. And all the buttons are programmable. On the back here, nothing too interesting, just some other stuff telling you that you've got the Alienware FX lighting, which you can control by the software which you download to your PC. So you can change the colours on the front, which you can see on the front of the box. So that's what the mouse looks like there. Let's open this up and see if we can get a closer look. It's a pretty cool box and it opens up like so, so you can have a sneak peek of the mouse and see some other cool stats. And there it's telling you all about the lighting, there's also two other buttons on the side of the mouse and it's just telling you about the adjustable DPI. Now I've been using this for a good couple of weeks now and the one thing that I do not like about this mouse is the two buttons at the side of the mouse. With the shape of the mouse they're in a really awkward position that when you pick up the mouse to move it about on your mouse mat, you quite often hit forward or back, especially if you're browsing the web and it gets really annoying. I know you could deactivate these or program them to do something else, but I just really think it should be set out a bit better, especially if you're picking up this mouse. In the heat of a battle in a FPS shooter and you're moving about quickly, you are going to hit these buttons, guaranteed. Which is a bit disappointing. Okay, you can see there, there's just a normal USB cable, nothing fancy here, it's not a braided cable or anything like that, just your normal wire. The buttons are a nice kind of gunmetal silver colour and black is the base of the mouse. It is pretty comfortable I must admit and the click wheel feels really good also. Buttons are large, it's just the buttons at the side which are just a tad annoying and then you can see me pointing out the three lights which you can select any colour you wish to match your setup which are pretty cool and look really nice and there is the buttons which are just really annoying I must admit. So disappointing! <laughs> wheel good loving it it's got a nice click as well there's your dpi button so on the fly you can adjust it up or down and then you can see the bottom of the mouse very very basic with uh, no stickers no nothing just the lovely little optical sensor which is really good i've previously had a razor mouse which was a laser sensor and it was terrible so it went bye bye and it has been replaced with this and last but not least, one of the most important things is the price. Currently this is $44.99 on Amazon and I'll leave a link down below in the description if you wish to go and check it out. If you want something a bit more upmarket, there is a fancier, more professional version which is called the Alienware AW958 Elite Gaming Mouse and it is $89.99. Looks very similar but it has obviously got different hardware. I will leave a link to that in the description also. And if you really want to swag out your whole setup, you can actually pick up an Alienware Pro Gaming Keyboard which has all the fancy Dan RGB lights and so on. Also for around about £120. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you just want to go Alienware crazy. Because I do like the Alienware gear, I think it's all really good build quality which is one of the most important things for me. And that's going to wrap up this unboxing. We will leave you with a little nighttime view of what it looks like. If you enjoyed the video, please leave the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of this mouse. What is your favourite gaming mouse? And remember to subscribe if you're new around here for plenty more 
awesome gaming content. We'll see you on the next video, guys.